says on the tin. So far on Dating in the Dark, Dominique's taken a shine to Jay. You sound really smooth and confident. Would you say so? It was a case of mistaken identity for Lucy. I mistook Jay for James. Oh, embarrassing oh, embarrassing. And Graham and James both like Abby, but Abby's keeping her options open. It's the second day of dating, which means it's time to reveal who our data's perfect matches according to science. The compatibility test pairs up our data with the person they're most similar to in areas such as romance, reliability, and vanity. A score of 50% or above means a couple has a lot in common. So let's find out who our first compatible match is. Oh, whose name's it gonna be first? <laughs> oh. I'm hoping it's Jay. Definitely not James. James. Oh, <laughs> oh my. I was not expecting that, mate. I was not expecting that. To be fair. No, neither was I. I was really surprised when I was matched with James. I really thought that it would be me and Jay that matched. What? 76? <laughs> 76? That's pretty high, is that? That's right? high. <laughs> oh, are you nervous? I'm a bit nervous now that it's going to be Jay. Is it going to be, eh? I think she'd be very upset if it's me, that's for sure. As will I. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Nobody saw that coming. Oh, wow. I just thought it was wrong or very, very ridiculous. Ah! Oh, my God! 96%! 96%! That is... That is ridiculous. Oh! And you managed to find the 4% yesterday that you're not compatible with. <laughs> yeah, that was what it was. That is really hard work. My match with Lucy did come as a great surprise. Due to the way that things went yesterday, I said, oh, sod's law, do you know what, I'll get a match with her today. Maybe going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to rule her off straight away. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll find out what it, what it is that you've liked so much. <laughs> I had no idea. How did the date go? Um, we, we talked about the weather. <laughs> 55. Oh, okay. still, good. still good, mate. Still good. still good. Anything above 50 is, is good. Yeah. I think there's definitely potential with uh, Abby and I. Given that we're the compatible match, it'll definitely be good and fun to find out why. I do like the weather, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, with the matches revealed, our guys and girls must now date their compatible partners. So let's see if the science works. The first match couple to test the theory is Graham and Abby. We need to find out what we're compatible, why we're so compatible. To be honest, yeah. I have no idea. All oh, right. Yeah, OK. Well, have you got any questions for me? Um... There were a few occasions we didn't quite know where to take the conversation. Do you have more male friends or girlfriends, would you say? Oh, I think I've got a very healthy mixture of both, actually. OK. Um, so does that mean you're quite feminine? Well, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure, um, I'm, yeah, I'm sure my friends would... Oh, we certainly, um, like, I don't, you know, shy away from... Uh, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea why me and Graham are matched still. That's all right. <laughs> Take care. It's unclear whether Abby and I have a great deal in common at the moment. Not sure if I'm better matched with the other girls, but it's still a lot to learn. Yeah, see you again soon. All right. Have fun. <laughs> I'm going to have a, a little think about um, who I want to see next and, and weigh up my options. So it's not been a strong start for science, but can Dominique and James fare any better? In the last date, James failed to touch Dominique's heart, but managed to fumble around with her face a lot. I'm going to take in some plasticine and give him the opportunity to create what he thinks I look like. Well, hello. Hey. <laughs> it's really hard to, uh, to try and make someone's face out of Play-Doh. It was, it was terrible, but, hey, I'm not an artist. What did you think then when you heard that we were the match? I would have thought we would have been matched with someone who initially we thought we connected with. Yeah, 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 of course. You know, and it didn't turn out that way at all. <laughs> I didn't um, enjoy the date, to be honest. It was basically just going through the motions. What is it like you look for in a guy? Keep yourself in good shape, like the way they look, with the hair and vest tops and stuff just don't wash with me. No. Me and Dominique were like 76% compatible. But uh, I don't think we've got a, a great deal in, in common, to be fair. Right. Are we having the French? No. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry? All right, OK. <laughs> I thought you meant the, the French French. <laughs> How you wish. Do I? Really? I still don't think there's any sparks there, and I wouldn't be pushing for another date. In this case, I think science is wrong. The last compatible couple to date is Lucy and Jay, who at 96% are our highest match ever. But that's not how it looked yesterday when she thought he was someone else. Good luck, guys.
I am looking forward to the date with Lucy, if she's um, absolutely aware of the person that she's dating this time. Hello. How are you doing? What's your name again? Sorry, I'm oh, joking. Wow. I'm only joking. That is I'm only joking. Shocking. I think I did one with Jay on this date. Um, I definitely realised why we're more compatible than I thought we would be. I'm really into my, my horror scene and all that. Oh, and I, I love, love supernatural movies. stuff. What do you think about comedy clubs and things like that? I love That's... comedy clubs. Would you ever go on like, a supernatural ghost hunt? Oh, yeah, I'd love to do something like that. It's got to be done, isn't it? I think Jay might be more my type than I thought he was going to be. That's a piercing there, by the way. Sorry. <gasps> You're not to say that. Oh, am I not? No. Sorry. OK. Jay's piercing did surprise me a little bit because I presumed he was a little bit boring, but I think maybe he's he's got a different side to him that I didn't know about. Well, listen, you uh, look after yourself. You too. Do you know what, Kevin? You're such a nice bloke. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I've re redeemed myself after this date with Jay. Do I want to see Lucy again? I'd, I'd like to... Yeah, I would say yes. So Jay and Lucy seem to have recovered from their rocky start, but what will his first date, Dominique, think? <laughs> How did he go? He's such a good kisser, Dominique. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Of course, yeah. Oh, God, seriously. Like everything both of us said, there was like, oh, yeah, well, I like that yeah. too. Yeah, well, I like that too. Well, of course. Yeah. There is just one final round of dates before the lights are switched on and our daters are presented with the barefaced truth. So, who will they choose to date in the darkroom one last time? Disappointed by their compatibility dates, Abby and James are ignoring science and have taken matters into their own hands by inviting each other on a final date. Graham, we had our, our date, but there wasn't something there that I wanted to um, keep up. That's the reason I picked James. There she is. <laughs> Hi. It was sort of my final date. Um, I kind of wanted to go out with a bang. Out of all the three girls, you're the one I really wanted to take the most. And James was holding my hand, and I did uh, kind of let go a couple of times, like nicely, about trying to make him feel I was trying to get away. All right, I'll come in here. I wanted to kiss you. Okay. Done. Yeah? Well... <laughs> that, sorry, I did. I'll come in here. I wanted to kiss you. I, in my head, everything so far, I kind of liked you, so that was why I wanted to come in and kiss you. Okay. I, mean, I don't particularly like people that get close to me in a short space of time. I just think it's a little bit weird when people are like really overly friendly. You can't know someone for five minutes and like get all cosy with them. Okay, so... So, swiftly moving on. Moving on. The second there was any kind of contact or, or anything like that, she actually doesn't like it. I just maybe expected you to be a little bit more open. Just yeah, she's as open as I'm getting. <laughs> Kind of just shot me down in my tracks. Cool. Right, where's your job? I'm just gonna kiss you on the cheek. Don't freak out. Yeah. It's not the the worst date I've ever been on. It was up there. Absolute snore. He is quite a forward guy who knows what he wants and goes for it. That's not the kind of thing I go for. You seem quite gutted about it. Hey, I am pretty gutted to be fair. Would you still like to see her in the light? No. So it looks like James and Abby have ruled each other out at the 11th hour. Graham's next to the darkroom, and he's invited Lucy for his final date. I've seen Abby twice. We all hit it off quite well, but I've seen her twice now, and I think I want to find out a bit more from Lucy. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. I'm right, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. I think I had a connection with Graham. I'm not so sure it was a romantic connection. Most of the conversation kind of reverted back to just having a matey chat. Fill film my ears. Got quite, I mean, like, it's a bit of a playground down there, I think. What your ears? Yeah. If I flap mine, I can fly. Oh, right. If Lucy and I mated, that child could be disgustingly horrible ear-wise. <laughs> I think Graham is boyfriend material, but maybe not for me. He's probably more friend material for me. <laughs> that two kisses. And maybe a bit of a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Both Lucy and Abby have really caught my eye, but I think Abby's probably just edging it. As the day draws on, there are just two girls and one guy left to date. And Lucy and Dominique both want a bit of Jay. I am chuffed that uh, two girls chose me as a final date, but at the moment, I would say Lucy's got the edge. Even though Dominique likes him, if there is someone that I'm really going to get on with, then I'd like to explore that. I should show my talent. Go on. Do, do you really want to hear it? <laughs> I'm going to tell you not to do that. <laughs> I don't know, what, what do you do when you hear that? Um, I've had a really good time, and I figured as a gentleman, I should uh, see if you'd like to have a kiss goodbye. I'm not going to go for a full-on kiss in the no. dark. Listen, I wasn't going to go for a full-on kiss either, but I think it's a nice little a little peck on the lips is always nice, just to get a, oh. a, a little feel for what they like, you know? Right, half lip, half cheek. I won't lie, it would have been nice to have a, a proper snog. 
Uh, I do really like Jay. He's like a really nice guy. I'm, I am intrigued to see what he's going to look like in the light. Yeah, lovely to see you again. Yeah, likewise. And I may well actually see you next time. May well, eh? Let's see. Definitely a nice girl. I am very curious to see her in the light. But so did you feel the connection? Did you feel the 96%? We get on. We've got sort of similar opinions of things. Just don't know. Yeah. But Dominique's undeterred by Lucy and Jay's sky-high compatibility. There's only been one man for her throughout, and she's jumping for Jay. I feel a little bit put out that it's chores. You we'll see for the final date as opposed to me. We've got another date to go ahead, so we shall see if I can change that. How you doing? You all right? Enter. Well, thank you. Dominique was um, a bit gutted that we weren't matched up for the final date. And then obviously I've chosen you as a first choice. Is there any particular reason why you didn't choose me? I kind of wanted to explore a bit more with Lucy. Yeah. Just yeah, because, yeah. purely because 96%... Is amazing. Is amazing. Mm. I really did want to see you again. I'm really chuffed that you picked me. So I do thank you for that. I'm glad that you did. No, 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 honestly, but 96%. I believe what Jay said. I mean, he's got absolutely no reason to lie to me. Do you feel any closer to making your final decision about light reveals and that? Obviously, you don't have to mention names or... I know who I'm going to choose. Right. I think he was kind of asking if I'd chosen him, I really would like to see him in the light, and I really would like him to choose me. Take care, and uh, I hope to see you in the light. <laughs> see you. All right. I do want to see Dominique in the light. I've got the impression that she's going to pick me anyway. With that in mind, I'm quite tempted to use my choice to pick Lucy. I'm in a very privileged position, and uh, I'm going to make the most of it. It's the third day, and with the dating over, the moment of truth has finally arrived. After days of getting to know each other in the dark, our daters must now choose that one special person they want to see in the light. The light reveal for me, I would say, is actually probably the biggest moment in the whole experience. Feeling a bit nervous about the light reveal. There's going to be a lot to take here in a short amount of time. I'm really intrigued to see what they're going to look like. I'm a little bit anxious about the light reveal. I'm going to be seeing a girl who I've never seen before. Really don't know what to expect. Can the daters look beyond looks? It's time to turn on the lights. James, it's light reveal time. Who are you taking? I, um, it's a hard decision, but I'm taking Dominique. The date we had together wasn't an amazing date, but, yeah, I'm, I'm primarily going on the compatibility. At one point, were you going to pick Abby and then you've changed your mind? At one point, yeah, I was. But after the date yesterday, um, things have kind of took a U-turn. James has picked to see you. Oh, wow. That's yeah. surprising. <laughs> but still have my mindset on Jay. What happens if James is attractive? If James is really attractive, then I think I might be swayed. The light reveal could change all. The daters can't speak during the light reveal or see each other's reactions. I didn't think I was going to be nervous. I was really, really looking forward to it. But when you're waiting there, waiting for that light to come on, uh, my heart was just beating, 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 uh, to the extent where I could actually hear it. I've got a lot to think about with Dominique. Um, she was actually a little bit more prettier than I thought she'd be, and I do fancy her, just I don't know if I fancy enough to meet her. So, Dominique, you've seen James in the light. What are your thoughts? My thoughts on James? Mm. I'm not surprised at all with how he looked. Um, mm. I kind of guessed he was going to be short, and I kind of guessed that he was going to be cute. He was really cute, by the way. Did you fancy him? I'm not quite sure. Coming up next... The daters face the light. Graham gets an unexpected shock. I'm a little bit angry, but mainly quite cheated. And will Lucy and Dominique like the look of Jay? How do you feel about that? It's all come down to this now. I've just got to see what he looks like.